going on guys it's you here bringing you another review on black clover this episode i definitely have to say was a, probably one of the best episodes ever it honestly was great i really just enjoyed the episode and all of everything about it like it was just great to see everyone that was in there it just kind of started off weird i will say with gold array like that, that's just one of the weirdest things to start off on like i honestly hope that those two have play a bigger role after all this because it, they keep showing them like out of out of nowhere and at random times and they just don't have any rhyme or reason as to why they're even there so I hope that, that we actually stop seeing them. Hope they die or something real soon. Because honestly, I don't care for them. But the fight continues on. We have Asta having a difficult time trying to control the ability with a you know, Lich Sword. It's like it's accumulating all this power. But it's just became, beginning to be very difficult for Asta to control fully. And he does try to do his best we actually have the wizard king help him out uh backfires him on afterwards but he was still like okay about the whole situation we have the akuma being a bit concerned like you know we don't know he doesn't know where that that devil power comes from and i feel like this is just my theory like at the very end we see like him glancing through his eyes a devil and i feel like he may have known at that point who it was that's just my theory right there just tossing that out but we have asta managing a slice and of course you know helping him out and props to you know like when it comes to i guess our at least in my opinion it comes to realization that you know's power comes from the child that lich had with uh i could not remember but with the with lumiere's sister it could be that there's their child and that they uh even though he was never born that this was the incarnation of him uh, it's just my opinion here I, I could be wrong but i definitely enjoyed seeing you know just going all out strength like and wowing everyone even Asta for a bit, you know, seeing how he was able to get all of this magic control and having basically his own blade as well. Uh, I thought that was just really awesome. And the tag team between Naruto and Sasuke, I mean, uh, you know, and uh, I said that on purpose, you know, and Asta having these two working together was honestly top notch. One of the best like duos in anime. Like, I'm not going to lie. Those two work very well. Uh, and helping each other with the wind from Yuno and Asta's anti-magic was great. And not to just give them shine, but we also got to see what Charlotte, or possessed Charlotte as I call her, and Yami still wondering was that the situation. He actually comes to the conclusion that he also needs to do something. And he actually starts to concentrate in order to be able to use his dimension slash one more time and i gotta say it was probably one of the best attacks like ever from him um and i i really enjoyed the interaction between charlotte and him like it was just fun to watch because of their back and forth commentary which has always been a thing you know but even then like just being able to see him just so concentrated but we still have the fight between Asta and all of them with the devil. The slash does cause some concerns to the Akuma. And this is where it gets really creepy because we get to see the devil start having all these mouths start opening up and talking. And like it was just creepy to me. Like he had slashed him but his heart moved to a different spot which didn't kill him. And we see Asta actually, you know, being in shock with everyone else. And we see that he actually goes out of his form, which is kind of sad because now he doesn't have his devil form. He's a, he's back to himself and 
they both kind of get captured and while this is all happening we also have the original duo here we have lumiere and lich working together to kind of protect everyone which i thought was really cool on their part i love that they actually you know were not only reunited but we also get to see that they're uh, working together uniting their magic in order to protect everyone we see that you know gets protection yami gets protection everyone else within the castle or whatever it is at this point is getting protected by both of them and we get to see what's happening with everyone we get to see you know uh what's up with noel and the gang and we see jack and everyone else so and some of them were still fighting obviously jack was one of them i'm like he didn't even care about his surroundings and but it was just cool to see that everyone had this divine protection but we also got to see him beginning to crack so it's definitely it's almost time you know we're, I, I know that the prince is going to probably die very soon officially and it'll be sad but the episode ends with yami finally giving his strike which was epic in my opinion one of the best strikes and then this was enough to kind of create an opening and this is where i got dragon ball z feelings because it felt like vegeta did this for gohan and i feel like here we have asta finishing the job thanks to uh Sekere helping giving him a boost and ending the fight like that was just crazy that scene was just awesome and i enjoyed it hell of a fight but guys, that is it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like, comment down below your thoughts. Enjoy this little moment from that battle. And as always, I'll catch you later. Gavilán, Gavilán, lo calle, luna y eh. el pato y los pelcos que yo tengo ahí. Tú y yo veía que ando con la luna y eh. vamos para mi cuarto y perdemos ahí. Eh. Lo calle, luna y eh. el pato y los pelcos que yo tengo.